welcome back to another episode here on season two of eye of the storm a guelph storm podcast with myself ryan drury the voice of your guelph storm on rogers tv very pleased to be joined by one of the new faces in the royal city last year's ninth overall pick we're really excited to welcome alex mclean onto the show mr mclean how are you i'm doing well yourself I'm doing great, man, and I think Storm Nation is doing great because everybody's really excited that you're going to be a part of the program moving forward here. Uh, just tell us a little bit about how you're settling into the Royal City so far. I know you've got some action in at the Sleeman Center in preseason. How are you feeling right now about being a member of the Guelph Storm? Feeling awesome ever since I got drafted here. Um, it's just a great environment to be in. Um, all the guys have been super welcoming, all the coaches. Um George, it's just been awesome meeting all the guys and playing the first few games of preseason. Uh, each game's getting a little bit better, building my confidence up. So yeah, so far it's just been awesome. I want to dig into a bunch of different points in your hockey journey so far, but you mentioned obviously getting drafted and how exciting that was. Take us back to that night. Obviously, it's it's a lot of years of build up and finally getting to hear your name called to an OHL roster. Take us back to that night with your family and how excited you were to have George Burnett give you a ring and tell you you're going to be a member of the Guelph Storm. Yeah, so I was just back at my home in Perth uh, with a bunch of my family. And um, yeah, draft day was a bit crazy. A lot of nerves going around, um, a lot of excitement. But uh, when George called uh, my phone, uh, knowing, um, calling me that I was going to be a Guelph Storm, I just uh, got super excited and one of, one of the best days of my life for sure just to know that I'm becoming going into the league first of all, and then just to be in such a great organization and um, yeah, one of the best days in my life for sure. Alex, you know, it was well-deserved, you know, where you got drafted, you were really highly sought after. And for good reason, you had an incredible year last year playing for the Barry junior Colts in the U 16 program, 77 points in the regular season. You tacked on 31 more in the playoffs and then you had eight more at the OHL cup. You put up some great offensive numbers. What was it about last season heading into your OHL draft year that was just clicking right for you? Um, Honestly, my being on a good team helped a lot. Um, playing with my line mates, um, both were super great players. Um, they helped me a lot, um, very much as the year went on, and just um, great coaches too. They taught me a lot of new things. Very got me very zoned into my defensive abilities, and obviously those defensive abilities uh, transformed into offense. So, yeah, just the guys, um, line mates, teammates, coaches, everyone just helped me uh through the year so yeah obviously before we touch on some of the stops you made right before joining the Barry program let's go all the way back to when you were a little kid growing up in Perth Ontario and first starting to play the game what do you remember about growing up in Perth and first learning how to skate and get into the game what do you remember about those days uh yeah um all uh, mo most all I remember is just uh Always wanted to go on the outdoor rink uh, with my brother, or my dad, um, just learning how to skate. Uh, every time I wanted to have a hockey stick in my hand, um, shooting pucks. Um, yeah, so when I learned to skate, I always just wanted to keep doing it and then started just uh, starting to play games with all my friends. And then, um, yeah, I just built from there, I guess. Tell us a little bit about your hometown. What do you what did you love about growing up there and what are you know some of your fonder memories of growing up playing hockey in Perth? Yeah, um it's a small town obviously, but not much many um uh, good hockey players come out of there. So just to be one of those guys that when you're in the town, like everyone um just like congratulates you for getting drafted, being in that small town. I really enjoy it. Just um yeah, being in Perth, obviously, um, a lot of wonderful people there. Um, the Perth rink, uh, a lot of sessions on there. Tried to improve my game with uh, my dad or some skills coaches. So, yeah, just being in that town um, really is a, just a great environment, and all the people are wonderful. So it's really helped for sure. 
I'm from a small town too. There's something about small town Ontario that just uh, there's something about it that just bleeds hockey. You know, it's uh, yeah. it's got a bit of a different flavor. Um, you know, you mentioned your dad and obviously your brother. Um, I'm, I'm sure that they were very integral in getting you inspired to play the game. Who are some people, including them along the way, that inspired you along your journey to this point? Yeah, obviously, um, my family, mom, dad, brother, sister, um, I'd say them for sure. Um, all the coaches I've had, all my teammates I've had, um, trainers, um, my agent, but mostly important, my family, because they're always um, providing me with the best opportunities and just trying to be the best player I can be. And off the ice, they're just trying to make me the best I can be. Always like, be kind to others, because you never know. And yeah, just support and love everyone and it will always come back. So yeah. That's a great message, man. Something to live by for sure. And hockey parents, they're the best. We know that. Um, I, I wonder as well, you know, when, when you were a young kid and starting to play and really competing at a higher and higher level as you went along, when did you start to kind of recognize that your talent was maybe a little different than some other kids that you grew up playing around. Cause Hey, like getting drafted ninth overall in this league, this is the best junior league in the world. That's nothing to sniff at. When did you start to kind of realize, Hey, I, I might have something pretty special working here. Yeah, probably um, when my family made a huge jump for me and also my brother, um, we moved to Toronto so I could go play triple um, a with the Toronto Marlies. Um, probably then uh, I realized that, I like I believed in myself I thought I could make it to the next level in this sport um yeah just by making that huge jump to Toronto um going into AAA at such a young age uh probably then just realizing that I have the skills to do it and I have the work ethic and yeah and everyone was being really supportive of me my family especially you mentioned the skills you have and uh, you've got some tremendous playmaking ability, man. And I, I got to get my eyes on you for the first time in live game action against Oshawa last week. And you put up three helpers and uh, a couple of them were awful. Nice plays. Like you got some slick vision out there. How did you kind of refine those skills to become a player that can read the ice as well as you do? Um, Obviously putting in those uh, extra work, like you always want to be the best player you can be. So putting in the extra work off the ice for uh, just like your mental uh, side of the game obviously helps to on the ice. And yeah, as each of these preseason games on, you're just building your confidence as you go along, especially as a 16 year old coming into this league, you're not going to have the most confidence, but um, the guys uh, obviously are helping me um, a lot. So yeah, it's just been awesome. Just in terms of, you know, coming to Guelph and obviously we got a new head coach in town. I talked to him last week and Corey Stillman. People are very excited about that. Obviously coach Davison as well has NHL experience. We all know, you know, about those two guys careers and the impacts they were able to have. What's it been like for you as a rookie coming into this league and establishing that relationship with the coaching staff? Just, yeah, obviously. Um, yeah. They both have NHL uh, backgrounds. So, First of all, just learning as much as I can from them because they've done it. They know what it takes to do it. So just take as much as I can from them. And um, obviously, I'm trying to earn ice as a young guy. So doing everything I can in practice, uh, everything starts in practice. So doing everything there to earn ice in the games. And then, yeah, um, I just can't wait for the year because I know they'll help me with a bunch of uh, skills and everything. Like I thought uh, most stuff I know, but um, I'm sure they'll teach me a lot more. Absolutely. Well, and I mean, that boils down to your teammates too. I mean, you're walking into a room with some pretty good veteran players, especially on the offensive side of the puck. When you arrived and first started taking camp in and settling into the city, who are some guys that you kind of attached to right away that you've been trying to kind of download information from? Obviously one of them for sure. Jet Luchenko, he's been very welcoming. Um, obviously a great guy to follow. I mean, went thirteenth overall in the NHL, so um lots to learn from him. And yeah, when I right when, when I got there and introduced himself, uh he's been a really nice guy so far and can't wait to learn more from him. And then yeah, Charlie Paquette's been very welcoming as well. Um, just showing me the ropes. Um um yeah, and then he's off to NHL camp as well, so he has some a lot of stuff I can learn from him as well. And then 
pretty much everyone like Jay Carabella, all the um, overage players, they've been all welcoming, all those sevens as well, oh sixes. Yeah, basically everyone's just been very welcoming, helping me along the way so far. It's great to hear, and we're excited to watch what else you can do so far this year. And I was very impressed with your with your three assists outing the other night. That was something to watch, and it's got the fans excited. You know, you strike me as a pretty chill dude off the ice, but on the ice, I've, I've seen video of you playing. I watched the OHL Cup last year. You don't have any problem showing how passionate you are about playing the game, especially when you make a big play. And on that note, I wonder... Who are some guys that you watched growing up that inspired the way you play? And how do you think your style is in terms of playing in the OHL break? Give us a scouting report, if you will. Yeah, some guys I watched uh, growing up, obviously, Sidney Crosby. I like to model my game after him. And then recently, just uh, not recently, actually, for a while now, um, <clears throat> Nikita Kucherov. I actually like, first of all, Crosby's work ethic. I like to translate that into my game, obviously. He never takes a shift off, um, always using his brain to make plays. And then Nikita Kucherov is always, like, um, very smooth with the puck. He knows what he's going to do with it. And then he always makes those plays that you're really not expecting him to make. And all that, I really like to trans translate that into my game, like the work ethic, the IQ, and just making my teammates around me better. So, I, yeah, I did that's the main features of my game. And, yeah, hopefully I can bring some of that to the Sleeman Center. Yeah, a couple guys that aren't uh, too bad of an example to watch and try and emulate, that's for sure. I'm sure people will be even more excited now that you kind of model your game after those two guys. Uh, I wonder as well, you know, hockey players, they can be pretty particular beasts, if you will, especially when it comes to equipment. And over the course of this show, you know, when I talk to guys, I'm always interested to hear what they're like with their equipment. Are you, are you a really picky guy? Do you have any weird equipment superstitions? And what sort of stick are you working with and skates? What do you prefer to use uh right now um i'm not i'm not a I'm too big of a guy with equipment yeah i'm not uh really uh, superstitious with that uh um at all but the sticks i like to use i used to like <laughs> use the ccm trigger nine right now and then skates i like to use the bauer mocks they've been treating me really well these past few years so yeah Nothing wrong with that. I, those are popular answers too. I mean, a lot of guys seem to like those. Are you a white tape or a black tape guy, and and why? Uh, last year, um, I actually my whole life I've been a white tape guy, and then just this year I've switched to black tape. Um, I don't really have a reason for that. Uh, I kind of just switched this year and um, been working, so I might as well stick with it. So. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why not? Especially if you're going to put up three assists on a lot of nights. I wonder as well, uh, you know, and you're, you're part of kind of the younger generation coming in guys are, you know, changing their habits a little bit from, you know, back when I was younger, that's for sure. I wonder what kind of music you're into in the room. What do you like to listen to, to get pumped up before a game? Um, for my most pump up stuff, I would say is probably, um, either country or rap uh not too picky about it whatever cam allen's got going in the dressing room so yeah i'm fine with either but yeah i'd say country or rap really gets me in the zone so yeah either of those two which is fine well, if you're a country guy, you're going to fit right into this locker room because last year that was probably 90% of the answers I got. So you're going to fit in just fine with the country stuff. That'll that'll be fine. Uh, I, want, I wonder as well, uh, I like to ask guys this. Some NHL teams are letting guys do this, and I'm always curious to hear these answers. If you could pick a custom goal song, what would you pick? Uh, uh, it's a tough one. Uh... Probably um, got me with this one. I'm thinking of what it's called right now. Uh, probably say Run This Town by uh, Rihanna. Oh, I like yeah. that. It's a confident it's song. song. Yeah, it's always been one of my songs, so stick with it, I guess. I like that one. That's great. Well, before I let you go, tell me a little bit about your aspirations in the OHL and, um, you know, your journey here so far. Obviously, you mentioned, uh, you know, going to Toronto and playing in that Marley's program. You also played for the Ottawa Titans program and, and spent some time in Pittsburgh as well. Tell us a little bit about that journey, because that's kind of an interesting route. 
Yeah, um, I've been all over the map, that's for sure. Um, yeah, with all of my Titans, uh, yeah, awesome organization. Treat me really well there. Um, going to Pittsburgh, uh, just one of my decisions. Uh, I thought I really liked their program. They had really great development, and I thought it'd be a perfect fit for me. Um, yeah, going there uh, really brought um, like really um, it was a great like new environment that I've never really witnessed before with all their amazing facilities and rinks and all that. And then, yeah, going back to Barry this year, I just kind of wanted to be closer to home, and they had a really good team going. So figured it would be a good spot for me going to the Hill, um, uh, having a great uh, program to work out, skate with. And obviously it's all turned out pretty good, I guess, to be landed in Guelph. So, yeah. Absolutely. Well, I can tell you what, people are excited that your journey's led you to the Royal City. And I know it's early days here and you're still kind of getting settled in and school started and all that stuff. The regular season's right around the corner. What would you say so far early on in your experience here is uh, your favorite thing about being in Guelph so far? Probably just going to the rink every day, seeing all the guys. Um, yeah, uh, every time after school, I just can't wait to get to the rink because you know, it's going to be a good day when you have practice, workout, and just talking to all the boys, seeing what's up, and seeing all the new things, like what's going on and all that. That's probably the best thing. Absolutely. Well, hey, man, we're really excited to have you. I can't wait to see what you have in store for us in your rookie season. Congrats on becoming a member of the Guelph Storm, and we're really excited to have you, my friend. Thanks so much for doing this. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Alex McLean, everybody. Remember, you can find this show on the Guelph Storm website. You can also find it on all your favorite podcast apps. And for tickets, home opener to come see Alex McLean in the storm. You want tickets? Go to the Guelph Storm website or check out the Sleeman Center box office. This is Eye of the Storm. We'll be back with more next week.